Hey guys, let's talk about a very controversial topic. Should you go to college for game design? 15 years ago when I was getting into the industry, the assumption was yes, you need to go to a four year college or a specialized school like Full Sail to learn concepts needed to even get a foot into the door of the game industry. A lot of secondary education such as colleges and Full Sail have extremely high tuition rates. It's something that's just incredibly out of reach for a lot of people who want to get in the game industry without a large pocketbook supporting that. I myself went to a community college and then a four-year university for a generalized computer science program where I learned multiple languages for web application development while pursuing game development on the side. Those concepts I learned in the web application classes have lended themselves over to my ability to program and develop games, but looking back, if there was an alternative or, or something closer to home that was within the same kind of pay range, I don't think I would have pursued web development. I would have stayed in the game industry. And it, it really wasn't until programming 40 plus hours a week for 52 weeks a year for four years before the light bulb went off. And the light bulb turns on for different people at different times. For me, I was stuck in that point of where I could read code and understand what I was doing, but I couldn't sit behind a desk and just flat out write the code. That's when the light bulb went off, it all started making sense. It was just like a, a veil was uncovered from my eyes. And then I could not only read and understand the code, but I could sit down and just crank out the code. The tutorials that are my videos do require a lot of research though. It's a lot of practice and experimentation to get it just right. And then a, a lot of self review of does this code make sense? Am I going to be able to articulate the concepts? efficiently and I think that has also made me a better programmer is that I'm asking myself those questions while reviewing my videos and I'm like you know if I was watching this video am I going to answer everybody's questions correctly you come full circle like if you are a strong self learner watching YouTube videos alone is not sufficient enough to become a game developer let me let me make that clear what you have to do is follow along with these tutorials where you watch a little bit and then you click pause and then you do it yourself don't copy and paste the code if you find it on a website or on github or something type it out customize it to your own style that repetition and that that practice will allow you to reach that eureka moment quicker if you see an example of uh, like an RPG, when you're doing development, tailor everything as if you were writing it for the games you're interested in. I remember one time early in my career, I was writing just a, a, a POCO, a plain old C-sharp object, which has had some properties and a, a few methods in the class, and I tailored it to a Skyrim-esque character class. And just that practice of writing business logic and assigning it to a class that kind of mimicked Skyrim, made it fun and interesting for me. And unfortunately nobody caught on. But customizing that code will make you think of two things. I'm seeing it and reading it over here on my right screen, and then I'm translating it and writing it myself on my left. Other aspects of game design or game development, like art, may come naturally to some. Some are just naturally born artists where they can see a white piece of paper and draw to their heart's content and come up with a a masterpiece just using a few pencils and other drawing utensils but sometimes going to get formal training will give you the background of like design and theory best practices introductions to software to use for your art now in 2024 there are abundant resources online and you can learn it on your own but sometimes having that formal educator teach and share you industry best practices or other ways of doing it will make you learn it better and become a better artist. And then my favorite is when you have to do homework and homework involves actually playing other games, watching a cutscene and looking at the art and the style, playing the game and trying to break down the mechanics of how they implemented that. That homework you can then carry over into your own game development and that's something that you really can't find in a classroom setting. To answer the question of if you should go to college for game design, it is all relative based on how you learn. If you can self-learn at your own pace and you're responsible enough to do a little bit every day, 
then the answer is no, you don't need to go to college. It's going to be a long road and you have a lot to prove and ha will have to have a strong portfolio to get your foot into the door when applying for jobs without a formal degree on your resume, but it is possible. And if you do go the route of going to college or a, a school to learn game design or game development, take advantage of your professor's time, ask questions, stay after class, be the class pet, set in the front row. It will make a huge difference in the eyes of your professor who may have contacts inside of the industry who will want to help place you in a job after you graduate. But also that investment of that little bit of extra effort will go a long ways in instilling the concepts in game design and development. So if this video has been helpful, please like and subscribe. I'm very close to reaching our 500 subscriber goal. When I hit 500 subscribers, Cohen's going to shave his beard. This is about, oh, about two weeks old now. That's getting scratchy. So please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.